Guess what this is. I'll give you five seconds. Did you figure it out? Well, this is a milk box. You see, years ago, the milkman would come and deliver the milk to your house. People would have one of these on their front porch. They would drop the milk in here and it would stay cold until the family was able to retrieve it and put it in the ice box, which literally was a box with ice. But I thought this would make a great upcycled project. What would you make out of it? Well, after two days of thinking about it, I came up with what I think is a great idea, a magazine rack. I'm gonna make a wood liner for the inside to store the magazines, and then I'm gonna make four legs, but not just regular legs, milk bottle legs. I can't wait to see what it's gonna come out like. If you can't wait either, then just keep watching. I bought this eight foot long, four inch by four inch pine post. I'm gonna use half of it for today's project and half of it for an upcoming Christmas special. Now, when you're choosing one of these, you wanna get as clean of a piece as possible, especially if you're gonna be turning it on a lathe. You don't wanna start running into knots. So this half has more knots in it. I'm gonna use that for the Christmas special. This one here is very clean. I'm gonna cut this in 12 inch sections and we're gonna turn these on the lathe. Do you ever watch these woodworking shows on TV where they have these incredibly clean shops and expensive tools? Well, that ain't me. This is Alley Picked, so what did you expect? This here is my fancy lathe. Well, it was probably fancy in 1960, but it's gonna be fine for what I need to use it for. We're gonna use this to make my milk box magazine rack legs. So what I did is print this out on the computer and we're gonna turn these wood blocks to this exact size. So there it is, it's perfectly round now. And talk about man glitter. Now this is not gonna be a video on how to use a lathe. So I'll be skipping a lot of the detailed steps on that. But we're gonna continue now making this wood block look like this.
got the four milk bottle legs all finished, but in order to mount them, I need to have a solid base on the box. Now, on the bottom, there's just this thin metal. So I cut this wood, which I'm gonna use for the bottom, and then I cut this other piece of wood for the inside bottom. And then I'm gonna screw those together and sandwich the metal in between. Then I'm gonna drill through those and use these lag screws to mount the milk bottles. That way, it'll be nice and sturdy. But first, I need to make a wood liner for the inside of the box. Oh, wait, look what I have here. It's a wood liner box. Now, I didn't wanna take the time to show you how to make this because it's rather simple and uninteresting. However, the wood that I use for this, now that's an interesting story. Let me tell you about it. Hang on, one second. I gotta go get something. I was at an estate sale over the summer I was digging around this guy's garage and I saw this box in the corner with stuff piled up on top of it. It was kind of like digging for buried treasure. Inside, here's what I found. Now this box has over 40 pieces of solid mahogany wood, 5 sixteenths of an inch thick. I had no idea what I was gonna use it for at the time, but now I do. With this project, it's gonna be perfect for the wood liner. Each piece of wood is sandwiched by some newspaper. Here's one with a college ad from 1958. So I know this wood was packed around 1958. There's also another piece of paper inside. This looks like the wrapping paper it was shipped in to the Mahogany Association, 666 Lakeshore Drive, Chicago, Illinois. So not only is it cool using old wood for this project, but old wood around the same time period as the milk box itself. That's pretty cool. After mounting all of the legs, I ended up having to shave down a couple of them just to get this thing to lay perfectly flat. Now, depending on where you're going to put this, you might also want to put some felt on the bottom. We're getting close to the finish line. Now it's time to install the wooden box. Now this is the first time I'm going to install this thing completely. After a lot of careful measuring, I hope it fits. Just in case, I got that. Here goes nothing. Great. The last thing I wanna do is clean this up. In order to clean and shine it, I'm gonna use this butcher block oil that I made in a previous video. Now this stuff is way more than butcher block oil. I find so many uses for this from squeaky hinges to seals around doors to hiding scratches in my car, cleaning wood, cleaning metal. We're gonna try it out on this and see how it works. Wow, look at that. You can see the difference. And this has an oil in it, so it's really gonna last. In fact, I did this side first as a test yesterday, and it still looks great today. So there you have it. I think it came out great. It's one of a kind. Well, that is, of course, unless you make one. Thanks for watching Alley Picked. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope you're going to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I release future videos, just click on the bell. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley. <laughs>